Chuck E. Cheese is remodeling this location by getting rid of the animatronics and putting in a giant video screen and dance floor. This has been an ongoing effort by the company to remodel all of their locations and this is one of them. By the end of the year, they want every animatronic gone besides for the five locations where they're staying. And because of that, you won't often see the remodels take place because they try to get them done as quick as possible. So I made it my mission to visit this location before, during, and after the 2.0 remodel and see what it looks like all throughout. With the animatronics still there to them being completely removed this is the Chuck E. Cheese remodel process but before any remodel takes place let's see what this location had right when you walked in you could see the animatronics this location had a two stage where all five characters are featured but Chucky is separated from the rest of the band otherwise if he wasn't it would be a one stage they were in excellent condition with all of them moving great and looking good especially with this location opening on August 25th 1992 that's over 30 years of these guys performing so the condition that they were in was very impressive. Just compare them to other locations and you can see the difference. But they really were the best part about this location in particular because everything else was pretty generic. All the artwork they had was older, but not as old as other Chuck E. Cheese's. On the left of the stage, you can see the row of Chuck E. and Kids posters. You would see these in almost every location before the latest remodel. And at the end of those was four of these retro Chuck E. headpieces that I think look cool. I've always been a fan of those. On the right of the stage was some more of the standard pieces along with this watercolor one from 2005 of the old Chucky mascot design. I remember that one when I was a kid. And as for every other art piece it was really nothing special. Besides for this little collage under the stamping podium where it had a bunch of old items from over the years. But I still wanted to include everything this place had in this video before they are gone forever. And that's exactly what happened two weeks later when I returned. All of the artwork was removed and you could see the outline of where they were going to put certain things so as you can see they've already started to remove the artwork from the walls which means these things are definitely about to go now if you look at the top there you can see where all the art used to be on this wall it was all like the generic ones and then over here it used to be the four pieces where it's just his face you can kind of see where the four were right there also next to it to the right they had two things here nothing crazy just the generic ones but they're gone as well there's nothing left of the artwork over here it was the wall water art one with the old walk around character you can really see the outline on this one and i just want to get on video everything that was here is gone as well there's also a couple others around the restaurant but i don't want to talk about every single one the only things that have been done so far besides the artwork coming off is they put the tvs in and these red lines are on the floor probably for the new layout or something my guess would be the screen's going to go back here and then the floor is going to go here i'm not really sure what they're going to do with all the tables and stuff but that's just my guess and of course i want to film the logo just one last time and then when they put the new one on i'll film the before and after but there you go you got the old one right there with the thumbs up and it says chuck e cheeses most people don't even realize but they actually changed the name to just chuck e cheese so they got rid of the s i thought by this point the stage would have already been gone but i guess i gotta keep coming back and see when they actually do it and that's exactly what happened when i returned two weeks later the sign on the front of the building was taken down the sign is officially gone but clearly you can still see the outline because it was there for so long and the animatronics were now covered up completely take a look at this so as of right now it looks like the stage is still there but they have it all covered up but if you thought that was crazy they actually already put in the dance floor right here and you can see that it works and everything so they're definitely moving along pretty quick now i thought there could be a chance that they were still behind the tarp so of course i had to find out i didn't want to completely remove it so i looked around the side and saw that there was an opening behind it so i took a look i'll try to get a quick shot behind it there you go that's what it looks like i saw that big opening in the corner i was like you know what i gotta film behind there real quick i thought for a second maybe they were still there but they're definitely gone unfortunately the animatronics were no longer there which isn't surprising because at this point the remodel was really moving along quick they were going out with the old and in with the new with the old being thrown away in the dumpster out front sometimes people can find cool stuff in these so i wanted to see for myself but mostly just saw trash in one of the old boots so really nothing too interesting. But hey, the sign on the front of the building may be gone, but they still haven't got rid of this one yet. It's only a matter of time, but it's still here as of now. But after all that, I made my final visit two weeks later to see the remodel be completely done. With a whole new look on the outside, the video screen put up, the dance floor in the ground, and the animatronics gone, the remodel was finally done. They definitely made some upgrades since the last time I've been here. They got the new logo right up there with no eyebrows, and they even have the new name, Chucky 
E. Cheese. It's no longer called Chuck E. Cheese's with an S. So yeah, it definitely looks different in here. The last time I was in here, it was just a trash bag over the stage and now it is completely gone. Back there, you have the screen that wasn't even up yet. And over here is the dance floor. With this being put up, they're basically almost done. It looks like they have some paint at the bottom there, but after that, it's pretty much all been remodeled and ready to go. Over on the side, they have all the new artwork and everything. Just says party, high five. And then you have the silhouettes of each character. I gotta say though, this art does not compare to the ones in the past. It used to be like parodies and different cool artworks of stuff in real life, but now they're just super generic, but they want that new look, more modern, I guess. If you have parodies of movies and stuff, it becomes outdated pretty quickly. Over on the wall here, they used to have the tickets up there and the paintings, but now that's all been removed. And up there, it says where a kid can be a kid. And over here, they have all the new stuff as well. It is pretty interesting though, what they decide to keep. Because although the animatronics are gone and that's all remodeled, they'll still keep some of the old games with the old Chuck E. Cheese on it, like this one. And as for the booths, it looks like they have some of the new over there, I think. And these are the old. I'm not really sure what they're doing. It looks like they have a mishmash of both. Maybe they're gonna throw these out soon. This is pretty funny though. They still kept the ropes when you come in. I thought they got rid of those in the remodels, but this one kept it. This is pretty cool. Over on this side, they have this big logo, but it's covered by this game, so you can barely see it, but it is there. And of course, at the bottom here, they still have all this old stuff. I'm glad they kept that. And right before you leave, they have this new sign, or just give you the history of Chuck E. Cheese. They don't even mention the animatronics. So that's it for the Chuck E. Cheese 2.0 remodel. It's sad to see the animatronics go after being there for so long, but at least there's five other locations where you can still see them. That's definitely better than their original plan to destroy all of them. And there's still some old things left behind that they didn't remove, like the design of Chucky on some of the games and this collage of old items. But hopefully the remodel of this location doesn't take away moments like this. All right, Chucky G, look at him go. You don't often see Chucky play basketball or be a janitor. I like that, even Chucky's gotta clean up. I guess you gotta get both jobs done at once. Oh, and the other sign out front was eventually replaced. Also, I've made a bunch of other Chuck E. Cheese videos as well, like me exploring this abandoned location. I just found a Chuck E. Cheese token from 2009. Me visiting a location mid-remodel right next to it. What the heck? Our childhood is ruined. <laughs> or me going more in depth about the location in this video. I talk about every part of the store. Pizza. So if you're interested in those, I'll put a link in the description to all of them. I've done so many at this point. I even bought every goodie bag for no reason. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. And I am now selling merch. Click the link in the description to get yours today. Even Chucky wants to go on it. Oh, he's locked out of his house. Oh, no. Chucky got locked out.